Hey y'all, hi, how's it going today? I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. My name is Mandy, thank y'all so, so much for being here. Spring has officially sprung here on my channel, but particularly at Walmart. And I just gotta say, I am absolutely impressed with the selection and the new releases that they have online for the most part. Like, I don't know what's going on with my local Walmart. They have had a failure to launch lately, but online they got it going on so today i'm going to be sharing some really cute affordable outfits including a couple of pairs of shoes that i am absolutely in love with i mean like sneak peek how adorable are these and everything in today's video is going to be around the 30 dollars mark and I, i'm just i'm just so excited are you excited because i'm excited so if all that sounds good to you and you enjoy plus size fashion but you don't really enjoy overspending for your plus size fashion then please consider subscribing because that's what we do here <laughs> and as always i'm gonna include all the links to everything mentioned down in the description box below all right, y'all. So the first outfit that I'm going to be showing y'all today is one that is so stinking cute. I could not be more excited about this one. So I picked up four different things to like make this outfit complete. One of which is not from Walmart. I picked up something from Amazon, which I'm also going to show you as well. But let me show you the top and the bottoms first, and then we'll get into like, you know, the shoes and the accessories and stuff like that. But first of all, this is what the shirt looks like. And this is from Eloquy Elements. I picked this up in a size 20 and it is perfectly oversized. And I fell in love with this color. It comes in other colors. So if you're not really crazy about like a sea misty green, they do have other colors. I think they had a pink or a blue and a black, but I could be wrong about that. So just definitely like check the links out in the description box below. But it has a very dramatic like high-low split hem, which is perfect for tucking in. It just allows the back to kind of flow out and live its best life. And this shirt just feels really substantial, kind of like a crisp men's suit shirt, but with like bright mother of pearl buttons going down the front. I think it's great. But the jeans that I chose to go along with this top, in my opinion, are some of the best jeans that I've ever tried. These are amazing quality. They feel really good. They're not very stretchy. They remind me very much of like a 90s style jean, but this is what they look like. These are from the brand Free Assembly and I picked these up in a size 22 because I find that Free Assembly runs at least one full size small. It's just kind of like the nature of the beast, particularly with the bottoms. But these are for the most part light wash denim, but they have like the dramatic knee patch right there that really kind of sets these apart from your regular everyday jeans. But the shoes that I chose to go along with this outfit are the ones that I showed y'all at the beginning of this video. And these are from the brand Madden NYC and this is what they look like. And these are kind of like a dusty pink color. So they have this really nice like faux suede texture right here around the ankle. And then right here across the toes, it has this beautiful kind of blingy braided strap. Talk about an eye catcher. They just catch the light in the most beautiful way. And these were like $28, which I thought was very reasonable. They're very easy to walk in. They're very comfortable, especially because they're a wedge and they had that nice platform to them. And then let me show you the little handbag that I picked up from Amazon. This is not from Walmart. This is gonna be from Amazon. And this is what it looks like. This is from Wrangler and uh, it is so freaking cute. It's so fun and I love the little tassels here. And when I was buying this, it said that it was faux suede or faux leather or whatever, but this is real leather y'all. Like it smells like real leather. It feels like real leather. Let me know if you wanna see a Wrangler haul because I've been like peeping their website and whoever their creative director is, is killing the game. That's all I'm saying. They have some really, really cute stuff. Trust me, y'all, go on the website, peep the clothes, peep the pants, and you're gonna be amazed because they, they just are selling some things that I never would have thought in a million years that they would sell. And I'm kind of intrigued, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so this is the little handbag that I picked up to go with the outfit. And I think it's really cute, it's really fun. It comes in different colors too, but if you're interested in it, I will leave a link to it down in the description box below. All right, y'all, so now we're on to outfit number two. And outfit number two is gonna be kind of like a mix and match set, if you will. So I'm not really crazy about the top, but I absolutely love the skirt. So I'm gonna start with the top first and show you what I'm talking about. So this is what the top looks like, and this is from the brand Scoop. And this is a very cropped top that I picked up in a size 20. And I think my problem with this is it just is not very figure flattering on myself. Like my boobs are ginormous. 
<laughs> and so I find that I would need this to be a little bit more tailored to my body for it to look appropriate. It's just, it's just not giving it to me. You know what I'm saying? But when you turn this around, it has like some smocking on the back that's supposed to kind of give it a more like customized feel. And it, it's just not doing me any favors, y'all. I'm just not crazy about it. But it is really soft. Like the fabric is really, really beautiful. But the skirt, in my opinion, is where my money is at. I love the skirt so, so much. So this is what the skirt looks like. And this comes in like different patterns and different colors. So if you want to kind of mix and match, get a different top, get a different bottom, you can totally do that. But I really liked the black. I thought the black was really classic, really pretty, kind of reminded me like a, a breakfast at Tiffany's in a way. But this is what it looks like. So it has a really nice like flattened area like a panel in the front and then it flares out to a beautiful midi length and the material for both the top and the skirt is made of 98 percent cotton and two percent spandex not too shabby and i just love the fit and flare design it's like just so cute it could be worn with anything and still look expensive it just has that kind of vibe about it but the shoes that i picked up to go with this outfit i am ugh, i'm so in love with it really reminds me of that like whole breakfast at tiffany's thing because this is what they look like. So the black and the pink, ugh, it's just such a classic combination. And these are like hella platforms. If you've been watching my channel, you know I'm a very tall girl. I'm five foot 10. When I wear these, I'm probably gonna be like 6'2", <laughs> which I, you know, I don't mind. It just is what it is. But these are called the Regina pumps. And I'm guessing it's kind of going off of the whole like Mean Girls thing. But this is from the brand Sam and Libby. I picked these up for $40, which I thought was a very reasonable price. And I do have a very similar pair to these in Canary Yellow that I actually bought from Shein for I want to say like $10 more. <laughs> so that's definitely something to think about. Like if Walmart's selling something cheaper than Shein. But what are your thoughts on the whole like black and pink combination? Like, is it something that you would wear? Is it something that like you would just steer clear from? Um, should I return the top? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to know your responses. So y'all know that I cannot do a Walmart Spring Plus Size Chon Haul without bringing in at least one dress. I am a dress lover. I love wearing dresses. They're easy. You throw them on and it's like a one and done outfit. It's so simple. It's so easy and it just makes you look pulled together without even trying. And that's basically my life. And I just gotta be like 100% honest with y'all. Like I go into my local Walmart and check out Tara and Sky, or I go on walmart.com and check out Tara and Sky, and their clothes are just not doing it for me. Like if you compare it to all the other brands, the Scoop brands and the Eloquy Elements brands and the Free Assembly and even Time and True, they are lagging behind big time and I just don't see them lasting in the store if they're going to continue like this type of momentum. But with all that being said, <laughs> I did find one really cute dress and I would love to know y'all's opinions on this because the pattern is really interesting. It's very nice and it also feels a little bit more, I don't know, it feels a little bit more high end than normal Terra and Sky items do. But this is what it looks like. And I really fell in love with the whole black and white pattern of this. It just kind of felt a little bit more expensive, but the more that I look at it on my body, I, I'm just not sure if it works. I mean, I love the V-neck detail and the tie in the back. I think it adds a lot of interest, but the elastic waist just feels really rushed to me. It's like they didn't line up the pattern and mm, I, just, I just don't like that. <laughs> I think adding a belt would probably turn this whole look around for me, you know, not to mention this made of 100% cotton, which is a plus, and it's gonna be great for the sweaty months for sure. And hey, if you don't like like this color pattern, they had a ton of other colors to choose from, and it's cute, it's gonna last you a really long time through spring and summer, and it's extremely comfortable, so it's something that you really can't go wrong with. So it's been a hot minute since I tried on a romper <laughs> and now is the time. I found a romper on walmart.com and this one is gonna be from Eloquy Elements. And this one comes in two different color patterns. It comes in this like regular plain medium wash denim. And then also comes with one that almost looks kind of like a tie dye or whatever. And I was debating so hard about which one to pick up. And now that I have this one, I kind of regret getting this one and not the tie dye one. This is from the brand Eloquy Elements. I picked it up in a size 20 and it is really cute. However, and this is a really big however, 
it's not very well made. Like I'm finding lots of issues with it. Like the denim is kind of unraveling in some places. It just doesn't feel very high end and it has a smell to it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you but with that being said <laughs> this is what the romper looks like and i mean it does have its positive attributes which i will talk about so first things first it has this really nice like silver button detail that goes all the way down a little bit past the waistline but the material is made of 88 percent cotton 8% polyester and 4% other fiber, which who the hell knows what the other fibers are. It's like, maybe that's what's giving it a weird smell. Who knows? It also comes with a fabric belt to cinch in the waist, but I have got to say, <laughs> I hate this belt so, so much, y'all. I think it's a little bit like too limp noodle to work. But if you take this one off, you throw it in the garbage and you get yourself a leather belt, maybe with like a Western flair or something, you got yourself a look. Another critique that I just have to say is I wish that it had hand pockets. Like I need a place to put my hands, damn it. But if I had to choose between this romper and the denim dress that I showed y'all in my last Walmart haul, both are from Eloquy Elements, that denim dress would win like hands down. Like she got it going on. She is a baddie. She knows what she's doing. This one is a little too, I don't know, utilitarian maybe is the word. I don't know. Nonetheless, this is the fourth and final outfit and I would love to know y'all's opinions on everything that I showed y'all in today's video. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you want to see more? Do you want to see less? Let me know in the comment section down below. All right, y'all, that is going to do it for this Walmart Spring 2023 plus size Tron haul video. I hope y'all found this video helpful and enjoyable and informative and interesting. <laughs> if you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I always appreciate each and every one of you. Please stay safe and stay healthy in this weird, wild, crazy world. And I'll be seeing y'all very, very soon. Bye.